What's good, people? Uh, right now we're about to do a little, little uh, critiquing on these plugins. You know the uh, OVO plugins. All right. Now these, this is this is this is my pros and cons about it. Right. All right. Well, let's see. Boom. So we're gonna go here. All right. Contact. And the thing. I don't like about one of the plugins I'll show you right I'll show you what I'm talking about boom now this is cool you know what I mean but to be honest I've been layering and making my own sounds since the it's dark and hell is hot album you know a lot of people want to claim they're responsible for the lo-fi sound which is a little strange because I am the true creator of lo-fi sound. If you go back and you listen to the song, How's It Going Down? Let's show you. I am the creator of lo-fi. All right? So let's get that out the way. Cool. Now, the sounds in here are cool. You know what I mean? But this is not what I really, you know what I mean? I'm going to say this. The sounds that, that, are, are, that are in this plugin basically... <laughs> are damn near in the same thing as stacks like literally and damn near the same thing that is in soul sessions so it's like they're not really too far off so it's like if you got these two plugins you really don't need the OVO joint but let's get to this this is what really irritated me about this plugin like, I was like, oh, okay, drums. I mean, I got drums upon drums upon drums upon drums. But when you do this with drums. Like, what are we? What am I supposed to do here, bro? There's patterns. No, but I don't want to use the pattern. Like, I am a, I am a musical maniac. And... You're limited with these drums. These drums you are limited to use. The only way you could really like take control and do what you want with these drums is to resample them back into machine or another DAW of your choice, you know. So like this 808 right here. What if I want to do 808 slides or or pitch the 808 up or pitch it down or or any anything with all of this? I don't want to use this tune. Like I don't want to use the tune thing. I want to spread it across 16 pads and, you know, pitch it that way. You, you, you are restricted. You cannot do that at all. Now, there's, what, 13 drum kits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, 15. 15 drum kits. And I will say, the, the, the drums... They're, they're, they're hitting, they're clean, they're clear, they're smacking, you know, but in this form, it's almost worthless. Like, you could use the drums, of course. You know, you could definitely use them. You know, you could you can finger drum and all that. But, like I'm saying... What if I want to do something crazy with the 808? You you just can't. But all in all, these are really good plugins. But like I'm saying with the um this this I'm just really disappointed in. I figured they would have took this, you know, and 40, you know, um he uses I'm sh I'm sure he uses machine, he uses, you know, the all the native stuff like a lot of other producers like myself. I use a lot of native instruments. I figured they would have took this and put it here. This way, you have no restrictions on how you're making your music, how you, you know, how you're manipulating the drums, how you're using the drums. But here, like with this, like you're really restricted. It's like you have to resample these drums in order to do certain things with them. So this, I'm kind of disappointed in, like completely. You know, this is my review. You know, you don't, you know. Hey, you know what I mean? It's like this is this is my opinion. You don't you don't gotta agree with me or you know, or you can agree with me. 
it is what it is right save no we don't want to save this all right but like i'm saying with this right here the, the 40 uh keys and everything i mean it's cool you know what i mean it's like basically it's just patches that he likes you know so like i said i've been creating my own patches for years like the most is key the, i'm gonna show you the most instruments here is in the keys and in the leads maybe maybe the pads yeah in the pads the rest of these are like really minimal <laughs> you know and it's like you're paying 107 plus something dollars you know for this plugin bases are like come on there's, there's bases everywhere but all in all it's greatly put together i will be using this in the future maybe today you know i'm gonna stream i'm gonna stream later on today on twitch but yeah you know it's like uh i stay buying i stay i stay getting all the plugins from native instruments as, as we scroll down here you can see it like i just got a ton a ton i've been dealing with this since native instruments first came out and let me tell you what i mean when i say i've been layering my own sounds i've been making my own patches since the early 2000s you know what i'm saying so it's like and if you don't know how to do it let me show you how to do it all right so what you do is you go you get a you go you know you go you get a sound i'm just, I'm just gonna keep it really really simple really basic real quick and just so you know you could uh follow along or whatever uh we're gonna say band right we're gonna go to horns and we're just gonna drag and drop that here right now i'm gonna show you how you do this i'm gonna show you how you make your own layers inside of contact all right and um so uh, all right so cool we got horns right all right cool we got horns let's get something like uh there's no keys here no it has to be keys here for sure band choir orchestral uh, i don't know we'll, we'll just go to orchestral right um brass all right now pay attention now this is how you layer and you can you could do this until your computer can't handle it anymore you know what i'm saying like you can keep on layering as many as you want as long as you can go here you see right here where it says midi right midi a1 now if you go here this says midi a2 so what you do is you click this boom Instead of going to two, you put that on one. So now, layered sounds. Say you wanted a piano in there. Go to wherever, you know, go, go to wherever. Boom, double click. Let it, let it load up. Hmm, actually you can't do it to this one. So there's some, there's some, for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason you can't do it to that one. Um, there's certain plugins they won't allow you to, I don't know why, it's kind of weird. They won't allow you to do such. Um, vintage keys maybe? Let's, yeah, let's go here. Scarby, all right. Should be able to do it to this one. I don't know why like certain plugins you can't do it to, but like, you know, whatever. All right, cool. We could do it to this one. You know, nothing's changed. Like I said, you go here. You see what says MIDI on A2. Switch from A2. You, it's the first port. Don't go. To, I don't know what. You know, don't go. Don't go. No, no, no. Go here. Click one and boom. So you get to. You know what I mean? You get to layer your own sounds. So that's how you do that in a nutshell. I've been doing that for many of years. I've been doing that since the first album I ever produced with DMX is Dark and Hell is Hot. So there you have it. That's my little review for the OVO sound. You know what I mean? Um, I'm disappointed. The drums sound great, but I'm disappointed on how they restrict you from really manipulating and controlling the sound as if in the drum pack like over here you see what i'm saying i got the burn hues you know oh i got the burn hues right it's like oh, okay i want to use these drums um 
Let's, let me let me reset this. This is just my template for when I, um, you know, loading up to get ready. So it's like, oh, I want to use these drums, right? Sometimes, I, you know, I want to pitch the kicks. I want to pitch the snares. I want to pitch the hi-hats. You cannot do any of that in the OVO drums, which I find to be saddening. It's like it saddens, it saddens me because you can't use it. You know, you can't use the drums the way you really want to use them. But all in all, it's great sound. And if you didn't know how to layer inside of contact, there you have it. So once again, check out the sounds, check out the joints. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not here to criticize or knock anybody. This is just my opinion. I've been making music for over a century. You know what I'm saying? I got platinum plaques hanging on my wall. The first DMX album, the second DMX album, the third DMX album, the fourth DMX album, the first, the first Rough Rider album, the first Eve album. And I can just keep going. Anyway, right? So there you have it. You know, that's my review. And, um, you know, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, man. Let me let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right.